I threw the salt. Here we have a test tube filled with three quarters of the way with salt. We also have this marble, which we're going to drop into the test tube. Most people think that when we drop the marble into the test tube, it would sink because the marble is much more dense than the salt. Is that true? Let's find out. Well, I guess not. So, based on the information that we just received, we should not be able to make the marble rise to the same amount of salt because the salt is denser than the marble. Let's see. Let's try to shake it and see if we can make the marble rise through the salt because we have a marble at the bottom of this pile of salt. Look, it already went that high. Getting higher. Getting higher. A little bit higher. Still higher. Look, the marble made its way all the way to the pile of salt. Why does this work? The reason this works is because when we shake the test tube, the marble and salt jump up. When the marble and salt jump, their molecular structure gets rearranged, making the particles jump. When this happens, the salt and marble jump together, but because the individual salt particles are lighter than the marble, their speed of jumping is much slower than of the marble, thus making the marble rise through the salt. Thus,